guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another Topic Tuesday video. This is the number one most requested, most asked question that I ever get. People ask this on YouTube videos when I meet them in person at the shows. And it's definitely the most asked question, so I thought I would bring my answer for you guys today. And it is the number one top secret to success in the barber game. Now guys, it's really simple. There's really not that much to it. And I'm gonna tell you guys, the key is to work hard. All right guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys, have... no, I'm just kidding guys. But really that is the answer. I get asked all the time, hey man, if you can give me one tip to success in the barber game, what is it? And guys, my answer is work hard. In every scenario, that's all it takes. I know that sounds silly, you guys came to this video for a super huge secret, but guys, that is really it. 99% of barbers out there, when you're a new barber and you're coming into a shop, those are the guys that want to leave early. They want to come in late. They don't need to take walk-ins. So you're able to come in early, grab that first walk-in. When the day's about to be over and somebody walks in and they're all ready to go, you can grab that walk-in. When somebody comes in that nobody else wants to cut, you can grab that walk-in. Next thing you know, you guys are able to gain so many clients because you're surrounded by people that are veterans that have been doing this for a while and they don't care to grab the walk-ins anymore. Now guys, that can be spread across the map. So we talk about YouTube, guys, how can I be successful on YouTube? Man, work hard, stay consistent. Guys, it's that simple. I have multiple people I know that do YouTube and there's times that they go hard at it and then all of a sudden they'll quit. And guys, if you start a channel and you're consistent with it and you put in the hard work, you will succeed further than those people that don't. And it's really that simple, guys. And our industry is filled full of those people. So when I see people at the hair shows and they come up to me and ask, Hey Sean, man, one question, what is the best tip you can give me to be successful? I'll tell them, hey man, work hard, do the things that nobody else is doing. You're already at this hair show. Did anybody from your shop come to the show? Usually the answer is no. And I can tell them, look, you're already out doing everybody at your shop and coming to these hair shows and doing things above and beyond the norm. And that is the key to success here. And guys, like I said, it goes all the way across the board. So if you want to talk about knowledge, all you have to do is learn a little bit take a class here and there, and you guys will be learning more than every other barber around. Guys, I'm in a smaller town, but there's like 18 barber shops, and I would honestly guess that no other barber in town has ever taken a class outside of barber school. So they may have been cutting for 10 years, and they have never learned another thing. So it's pretty simple for me just to go a little bit out of my way, take a couple classes, and I'm already ahead of the game. Now let's talk about tools, guys. Same thing applies there, work hard, but Invest just a little bit into better tools and you'll already be a step ahead because most of your average barbers don't want to spend money. They feel like it's a waste of money to invest in their craft. And I know that sounds silly. You guys are on here watching YouTube because you care about it, but there are 99% of barbers that are not getting on YouTube. They're not buying new clippers. They're not educating themselves. They're not showing up to the shop early. And guys, it is really that simple. When I'm asked how I became so successful, I did what I just told you guys in all of those areas, okay? So I got out of school, I went after more knowledge, I wanted to learn more, I invested in my tools, I came in early, I stayed late, I worked the extra days, I came in after hours to take care of clients. I did all those extra things that really weren't that difficult, but it set me apart from everybody that I worked with. When I started YouTube, I started with one video a week and I promised myself I would never miss a week. And guys, over two years I've been doing YouTube and I've never missed a week. When I went up to two videos, I told myself I would always put out two videos. Now I'm doing three and I never miss. Guys, I commit to doing it. It is difficult. I have to work hard. But guys, again, that's why I'm seeking success on my channel. And if you guys wanna know how I became a part of 245, guys, it's the same thing. I put in the work. I paid my way to travel to shows offered to carry all the heavy stuff. It's not just all fun, guys. We have to carry a ton of stuff to and from the booth, tear down, pack up, all of that ugly stuff. I volunteered to do that. I paid my own way to go to the shows. I still go, I still work hard. And that, alongside with working so hard on YouTube and staying consistent and putting in work in the shop as well is what eventually got me a spot to work with 245. So really guys, I know it sounds silly that work hard is the number one secret to success in the industry, but I hope that explanation really told you guys what I mean by that. It's really simple guys, 99% of barbers are comfortable. They make their little five, six, seven hundred dollars a week, come in whenever they want. Don't really have to do anything else. Don't have to buy new tools. Don't have to educate themselves. And they're good with that. So if you guys want to be the best of the best, all it takes is that little bit extra. I can't remember what movie it is. I think it's waiting. Remember, gang, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. And they're clowning them, guys, but that is the truth. If you guys just put in that little bit extra, you guys can go above and beyond everybody that you're surrounded by and really have success.
If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this topic. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got a dope tutorial dropping tomorrow and hopefully an unboxing on the Low Pros coming next week. But as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching another Topic Tuesday and I'll catch you guys next time.